that is a largemouth bass, aka a black bass. Last day of official pre-practice. It's Sunday. It's St. Patty's Day. Got my green on, double check. Honestly, didn't know if I had green on, but we got green on, so hopefully we catch some tail and find us a good bite today. That's the goal. One last day of practice. To find the juice. They, uh, they've been nibbling on that plug a little bit, so we're just gonna go fishing. We're gonna have fun. I mean, I don't know what happens, but sometimes, like, I woke up so tired this morning, but then you just get fired up. So last day, we gotta find us a, we gotta go find us a fat bag, and see if we can go win some energy. shape of this bass. God! Yo, it's my ass! It's my ass! <laughs> he is built like a true, like a... Look at the shape of that thing. Starting to catch bass.
That was the longest fight. Going down up here. I like it, I like it, I like it. Oh, oh. I can't even grab him with that thumb no more. <laughs> <laughs> the thumb has been raw. One more week. One more week. Three more days of tournament fishing. And I don't care if that thumb falls off. Catching them? On old oh no. Oh no. I'm getting a crag in her. Old Faithful, the old OG Slim, Crawl Dad, that color right here. Catch his bass. I think they're down there. That's a wrap. That's a wrap of free practice. It's Sunday. That was day. Th I was old boy. That was day three of practice. We've got uh, two off days now. And then we got Wednesday of official practice, then media day. So we're gonna go grill some steaks, crack some cold snacks. We are going to rig some rods tomorrow, go check into the motel. Um, went bad, you know, we caught some fish, fish today. We might have found something in the afternoon there. Ha! <laughs> you just hope it doesn't steer you wrong, but I feel pretty good about that little stuff. Um, I got a section of the lake I really like the most, um, and it's been consistent all week, so. We did a lot today. It was we canceled out a lot of water. We seen a good bit of water, and we fish a lot. I'm tired. Five weeks on the road. It's been like four weeks now. It's fishing's been good. I mean, we're catching fish, so it's no complaints there. My thumbs are like, worn, worn, but uh, not too shabby. It's Monday. I don't know what the date is. We've been on the road for four something weeks, but it's Monday before the Bassmaster Classic. And it's, it's that time. We just got in the boat yard. It is, I don't have my watch on. That's how I can tell how it's been one of those times. At um, midday, we got checked in here. We can't check in the hotel till four o'clock. We're gonna rig some rods, kind of rig for the week. That's our goal, rig for the week. Um, the, the thing about the Classic, is rig when you can. Take the time so you got time to rest. It's a long, long week. It's uh, a lot of moving parts. Uh, we got dinners we got to go to. We got events we got to go to. We got bass we got to catch. There's a lot to it. So we're going to rig now. We're going to rig us up probably about 10 or 12 poles. Not many spinner poles. Straight up big rod, seven sixes. So. We're gonna tie some jigs on, tie some swim bait tires on some jerk plugs and some crankbait. Fun stuff. That's why uh, we're just gonna have fun this week. We're gonna enjoy it. And if we catch bass, we catch bass, but we're gonna do what we can right now. Get these dials ready. See if we can go hurt something and not ourselves. Day of practice. It's Wednesday, the official day. We got our boat number, boat 17. Just gonna go fishing today. Just gonna go uh, top around, check on some stuff, see if they're there, and then kind of just 
swing it, just have a good day, and then just kind of we're doing a good bit of practice today, probably some more graph and just kind of see how much they've moved. We had a cold night and it's warmed up though. We're gonna have some warm days. Let's see. One more day to figure it out. Let's we'll see it. <laughs> Two weapons this week. I'm actually probably gonna have a jerk bait on this rod. This is actually my the Tattoo Elite 610 AGS jerk bait rod with the Tattoo SV70. Uh, really love this reel. Cast light baits. That's why I've been casting a little flat side and a jerk bait on this rod. Um, really can get those baits out there, cast in the wind, and then you got a nice rod to feel those bites and get them. And also the seven foot small crankbait, Randy Howell rod. Great rod. I got the the old school Tattoo SV on there, 14 pound fluorocarbon. We're gonna be cranking, we're gonna be throwing some flat sides and some square bills, and these are gonna be my two weapons. So we'll see how it goes, feel pretty good about the week. We're gonna to try to catch as many fish as we can, go through some numbers, and see where we stand. I'm doing this today so that at 6 a.m. before the takeoff, there's no scramble. Yes, 100%. I plug well, it in, I could, see, I could see it, I changed the menu and clicked the home button and it popped up your color You changed palette. my settings, you said? I did. I turned the color gain way up because Justin Hamner said it's not about the gain, it's about the color gain. I have true. Well, then you, she dialed. You helped me out. What are you even doing? Oh, my gosh. It keeps going. Coach, what are you doing, man? Let's practice. <laughs> hey, that's four and a half weeks on the road. If you could change one rule, add a rule, or abolish a rule in professional fishing, what would it be? Oh, gosh. You get to make one, you get to get rid of one, you get to change one. Um, I wish we could fish out of multiple different boats. We're here at Media Day. It's a 2024 Bassmaster Classic on Grand Lake. And we're wrapping things up. We got half of our rods rigged. We got a couple more poles to get dialed in. We got our old raffle of dirt baits. We're gonna we're gonna make us a plan this afternoon, and uh, we're gonna go out there tomorrow, fish the conditions, try to have fun, try to keep our head in it, see if we can catch us a whole fat bag. But we're wrapping up media day here soon and getting ready for day one. One more rod, and then three spinning rods back up, and we are. Good to go. What are you gonna catch them on tomorrow? Everything. Hope we catch them on old jerkin plug. Couple jerkin. Couple on the jig. Should be in good shape. It's raining. Day one. This action might make a bite. We ain't got no wind this morning. None. But Day one, we're breaking rods out. We're getting things dialed in, hopefully. We're just gonna go fishing today. See what happens, see if we can catch this whole bag of fish. The goal today, I think, is to survive. We don't have much wind, different conditions. Just go fishing today. See what we can do. See if we can wrangle oh, us up and die. Yes. And did you have fun today?
dog. There's a good bit of them down there, actually. so far we uh before we get down there probably ooh, got another one right there we just catch them on the old maverick right this second trying to build the limit try to catch some three pounders um before we go down and get in the creek before we get down there and duck in horse creek i just feel like there's gonna be a lot of boats down there this morning um and before we get in there and you know speed ourselves up and get too big of a hurry Want to catch me a few fish um, starting some stuff that hopefully ain't gonna have too many boats in it um, try to pick me up a couple fish maybe i'd like to get 15 pounds up in the creek that's a slab that is a slab. I would like to weigh that one. <laughs> weigh that one in. Take him for a ride. That is a hammer. Oh my god. I feel bad for going back. He might go. Oh yeah. We got four. Two small ones. We had a bunch just come look at it and you can just push these on. Got a limit. Slide by you.
Today. Hey, let's fish him. That's how it goes. It's the Nothing. classic. Yeah. Not upset about it. Yeah, we had a decent practice, caught a bunch of fish, but today was different. We made the wrong call today. I don't know what the right call would have been. Yet we have to get back, see what Hamner did, see what Drew did, and just kind of make a game plan for tomorrow. But tomorrow will be a new day. We can go back to the same thing and catch them. Um, so not too worried about it. That's fishing. The wind did not blow. We struggled today. We caught a bunch of fish, just a bunch of small ones. We ended up with 10 pounds, I think 10 ounces. A hammer bag. I caught them early um, with that cloud cover. I thought they were really gonna bite better than that but it was just hard to get those big fish to come in. You could see them come out and just kind of, they would just not lock on today. So tomorrow we're gonna kind of do the same thing. We're gonna go to some different areas. We're gonna slow down a little bit. I think we fished a little too fast today. And so if we just kind of slow up a little bit, I think we'll be fine. So we're just gonna go fishing, throw some plugs. If the wind's blowing, we got a front coming in, so they actually might chew tomorrow. But it's the Bassmaster Classic. You know, we're here at Grand Lake, we're in Tulsa. We're gonna put our rally cap on, see if we can catch us that fat bag tomorrow and slide in that top 25. Windy today, baby. That means we're gonna catch them or not. <laughs> Same as always. Throwing the old truck up. 92 miles one way. It's a boat. It is day, dude. That chatterbait looked black for some reason and it's not. Getting ready, getting the baits out. Got all my, my plugs ready. Got my chatter just in case it's real windy. Might do a little reel and bite. They should bite today. I feel pretty good about it. We're gonna be some cranking, we're gonna do some jerking. We're gonna stick that jerk bait in our hand. And we're gonna flip a jig. That's the main three things we're gonna do. Um, we're just gonna go fishing. We're gonna have fun today. We got nothing to lose. Hey, everybody gets paid. We're already at the bottom. <laughs> two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Made them both for the Bassmaster Opens, making him a two-time Bassmaster Open champion, Joey Nanina. Right behind him, a two-time Bassmaster winner. He is a six-time Classic qualifier, a nine-time FLW Tour winner from DeBerry, Florida, John Cox. A four-time Bassmaster winner and a three-time member of the Bassmaster Century Club from Somerville, South Carolina.
Lanky. Golly. Yeah. That's a lot of weight. Yeah, he's, he is not much weight. We have three of them right there. Of course, this is the one. Go, go, holy. He is huge, isn't he? Huh? He went right here for a second. God, they're so curious about the boat. Uh, we got three little guys. We've been running these windy pockets, but uh, I think we need to get out on that main in a minute. I'm trying to catch a big one in here. But uh, has not been the case thus far. So we're gonna give this another probably 20 minutes or so. They're definitely on bait in here pretty pretty hard. We just gotta go in the right pocket with the right fish. Is the ooh little guy? Thank you. 
Holy cream off. What that three and a half pounder anyway? He wasn't three and a half, but he was he might would have called, but It's a rock bass. <laughs> Looked at it again. Just so so slow moving to it. Gosh. No, no, Cole. And then purple. Purple's good. Here we go. There we go. Better one. Pin his mouth shut. Yep. If I put two pounds. We caught some fish down this bank.
wrapped up day two so in the way in line we got them better than we did yesterday but not enough to get in that cut from Somerville South Carolina Patrick Walters the top 25 17 pounds 8 ounces gives him 28 pounds and 2 ounces and he is inside the top 25 in 19th place currently. It's classic, it's 2024 in a nutshell. Hey, that's how the classic goes. I mean, you're either here to win it or you're here not to. And uh, wasn't our time this week. Hopefully, hopefully our boy Hammer's gonna get it done. He's gonna have a really, really good shot. So we're gonna be here for the next day to support him and uh, see if that sucker could pull it out because the only thing we're pulling out is this hotel room and, and heading home. <laughs>